In this video, we're gonna discuss 16 personal EVs that just might ruffle your truffles. We're sure this video is gonna be amazing, so be sure to stick around till the end. If you need a unique and stylish way of getting around the city, you shouldn't look beyond the U-Jet Personal Electric Scooter. Sporting a unique look that comes from a first-ever mass-produced orbital wheel and asymmetrical frame, the U-Jet is both eye-catching and easy to handle. The scooter can be folded into a large box with wheels, making it great for traveling and adventure. This e-rides battery pack is also easily detachable, so you can charge your battery whenever you need to. Alpine Riding is a company based out of British Columbia, Canada. At first glance, their flagship standing electric scooter could be confused with an e-bike, but the lack of pedals gives it away. The A-Ride comes with two motor configurations, 500W or 1000W, along with the dual suspension, a 1000Wh battery, fat tires, and aluminum frame. It has an unlocked max speed of 35 miles per hour and up to 50 miles of range. A selection of accessories is also available, such as kit handlebars, a rear rack, and a surfboard rack, allowing riders of all ages to enjoy this two-wheeled experience. The French company Neo Ocean recently launched an electric personal watercraft series called the Overboat. Appearing to be a jet bike mounted to the top of a catamaran, the Overboat has two poly fiberglass hulls that are connected by a central seating area, which has room for one or two depending on if you're riding the 100F or 150F version. The watercraft's motor gets its power from a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack, and if you appreciate cool stuff like this, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Made from a mixture of polymers and aerospace composites, the lightweight Track 1 by Flux Design Company features a tank track that has more than 30 inches of tread. The top speed is 20 miles per hour and a range of 12 miles thanks to its rechargeable battery. It's also equipped with LEDs for riding at night, is usable in wet conditions, and includes a set of removable handlebars and foot bindings for stand-up riding. The e-skates from AirTrick are manufactured in Hong Kong and are currently raising money via Indiegogo, sold in sets of two. Obviously, each one incorporates a one-piece 6063 aluminum alloy frame, quick-release silicone ankle, and toe straps, a rubber foot platform for abrasion-resistant rubber wheels, a 29.4-volt 3AH lithium battery, and a 150-watt rear hub motor. According to Airtrick, the skates themselves weigh barely 7 pounds per pair and can be mounted or dismounted from the shoes in a matter of seconds. Created by Finnish guitar builder and classic vehicle restorer Ari Joka Luomaranta, the Kinner takes its name from the Finnish term Kinneri, which was used to describe velomobiles in the 1940s. The current prototype is 285 centimeters long, 112 inches, 100 centimeters wide, 39 inches, and has a 220 centimeters, 87 inches wheelbase, allowing it to be legally classified as an electrically assisted bicycle, in Finland at least. Among other things, it sports lightweight fast-rolling road bike wheels, a composite chassis with a hinged forward opening hood for easy access, padded bucket seats, and an airplane-style steering yoke. The C1 is an electric self-balancing scooter car crossover from motorcycle innovation company Lit Motors from San Francisco in the US. The scooter contains an innovative dual gyroscope-based self-balancing system with 800 newton meter torque, the scooter has a powerful lithium battery for an effective driving range of 171 miles. The scooter has a Kinetic Energy Recovery System, or KERS, which is a regenerative braking system that restores energy from braking. Wessel is a company that specializes in leading suspension technologies, and their all-electric four-wheel steering adventure quad just might be the most innovative concept to date. This turn on a dime a ride comes with a titanium frame and titanium front and rear suspensions and measures 94 inches to 38.7 centimeters in length and 44 inches 111.7 centimeters in width. The vehicle aims to mimic the way animals run. Being developed for car sharing and package delivery, the Trigo EV has a top speed of 56 miles or 90 kilometers per hour. In full cruise driving mode, the Trigo measures 148 centimeters or 58 inches wide, but at speeds of less than 35 kilometers per hour, 21.7 miles per hour, a mechanism draws the front wheels in towards the chassis and becomes a much narrower 86 centimeters, 34 centimeters. 
The turning radius is 3.5 meters or 11.5 feet, great for parking or maneuvering. Its drive-by wire steering makes use of a proprietary computer-controlled servo system that is reported to take the Trigo ready for autonomous driving. The Silence S04 is an efficient mini EV built for urban mobility, and with both a mini car and a mode version, it's clear this company is dedicated to the future of ecological mobility. The SO4 Mope version has a 6,000 watt electric motor that delivers a top speed of 31 miles per hour. The mini car has two removable batteries and a built in 600 watt charger that enables it to charge in a mere five hours. If an organization ever creates an award for the strangest looking yet most practical personal aerial vehicle, Uber's Blackfly should get this trophy. This eccentric aircraft looks like it has two boat hulls, one forming the bottom, the other inverted to form the top, with a bubble canopy in the middle for the single person passenger. The aircraft's computers can tilt the wing straight ahead, vertically or anywhere in between, allowing Blackfly to operate like a traditional aircraft or even a drone or helicopter. The Kit Car Loadster is an e-bike cargo vehicle that offers a significant financial advantage over other types of electric vehicles. Driving, including purchase, electricity, service, and maintenance, costs the typical Kit Car Loadster owner an average of 20 cents per kilometer. For comparison, according to the ADAC Motoring Association, the kilometer costs 33 cents for a smart 4-2 coupe electric drive, 47 cents for a VW e-Golf, and upwards of 104 cents for a Tesla Model S. Zugo Bikes is a producer of high-powered electric bicycles based out of Austin, Texas. Their flagship Rhino electric fat bike has a youthful design complete with fat tires that'll tear up nearly any terrain. Seriously, this thing can trek till your heart's content, especially since the range is up to 90 miles with a long-range battery. Its lightweight body is only 65 pounds, making it easy to maneuver and practical to take with you on trips. The Rhino comes in three colors, black, white, and a unique purple. Powered by a 350-watt rear hub motor, the e-cooter can take you up 18-degree inclines and travel at speeds of up to 25 km per hour, or 15.5 miles per hour, which is the max speed allowed in most EU territories. Eku offers two battery options. There is the standard model with a removable 10.4 AH Samsung battery and an estimated range of up to 62 miles, 100 km, and the light version with a removable 7 AH Samsung battery that delivers a maximum range of 40 miles, 64.3 km. The Equileus electric motorcycle incorporates all the favorable characteristics that make regular patrol bikes ideal for forest rangers. Storage capacities range from 30 liters to 40 liters, allowing rangers to carry emergency supplies, rescue tools, and more. The Equileus features a digital dashboard for telemetry and navigation. Too bad that it's just a concept for now. It takes a special kind of magic to make an electric one-wheeled motorcycle not terrifying to ride, and Rhino Motors has pulled it off. The microcycle, which has a single 25-inch motorcycle tire and reaches speeds of up to 10 miles per hour, uses a combination of gyroscope sensors and accelerometers to balance itself. That, combined with strategic weight distribution and an intuitive acceleration and braking method, makes this motorized unicycle from the future actually feel safe. Did you know we deliver three videos a week on light electric vehicles? Yup, and the Google algorithm thinks this is the best video for you to check out next, so be sure to watch it and see if they're right. Goodbye.